Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 11, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the, the NASDAQ, and as you can see, we're down quite a bit today. There's one point to the 30. 41% at this current stage, and we are actually testing the 50 moving average. We could basically, if you basically said that this is a bullish plank, yeah, that is possible. But at the end of Friday's session, there is almost no pullback. So people basically, people were basically selling into the end of the session. And usually that means that when market opens up on Monday, you will have a continuation of uh, this selling pressure to the downside. And if that is the case, we'll basically break it down below the 50 moving average. If we bounce from here, which it doesn't look like uh, that is going to be the case, then you could make a case for this bullish flag. And if we manage to break above the 200 moving average, then that is basically a breakout of this bullish flag. Everything at the moment is screaming that this is just a bear market rally and that we are going to see a continuation of this massive pullback that we have been seeing for 2022. Um, there is no good news out there whatsoever. And and what basically made this massive rally for from 2020 to 2022 was basically the Fed. And at the moment, Fed is basically screaming on the top of the lungs that they are going to not be the market's friend anymore. And they are going to basically change their economic uh, or monetary policy basically for the worse for this market. So it may take some time for the market to basically um, to adjust to that reality, but it doesn't mean that it does basically mean that the Fed is not going to help the market um, bounce every single time it basically pull back, pulls back because their priority at the moment is price stability and not propping up the stock market. So if we basically break below the 50 moving average, we may see a, a drop back towards uh, 13,000 and break below that, and then we are going significantly lower. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD has crossed the signal line. It's still in bullish territory, but this is a bearish indication that momentum is changing uh, to the downside. The same goes for the stochastic. It's in negative territory now and the RSI as well. And there's a lot of room to the downside. So at this current stage, it kind of looks like we are going to see um, for next week a continuation of this drop to the downside. And the test will be 13,000, whether or not that holds um, or we basically break lower. Because if we break lower, then we're going significantly lower. Then we're talking about 11 and 10,000. Uh, for the next probably three months. So if you look at the S&P 500, it's more bullish than the, than the NASDAQ. We're still in this bullish flag, still negative for, for the day, but we're way above the 50 moving average. So 50 moving average down here at 4,425. And you basically have to break below that. However, technical indicators are all negative at this point. So back D, has crossed the signal line but is still in bullish territory the stochastic is still is uh, bearish entering negative territory and the rsi is also very uh, bearish as well and there's a lot of room to the downside so it may well be that tech stocks will drop first probably main reason because most of them are heavily overvalued and have been for quite some time and as this um, Fed policy unwinds and also interest rates uh, start to increase and um, uh, quantitative easing starts to uh, to uh, take an effect, then we may see the S&P basically uh, be the second industry that drops. But if we bounce from the 50 moving average and take out this candlestick here, which is roughly at 4,637, and then we may go back to the all-time highs. And it also means that the measure move from this is roughly, give or take, 300 points to the upside. And that basically means that we'll go back all the way up towards 4,900 and basically going past this all-time high. 
So looking at the Dow Jones, this has bounced from the 50 moving average and this looks more like um, a breakout, started to break out from this flag pattern. If we manage to take out the uh, 35,377, uh, then we have 35,000, uh, 35.8K and then all the way up towards 36.9K and then to the all time highs. Break it below to the 50, 50 moving average down here, opens the door all the way to the bottom. Technical indicators are mixed. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So if you look at the European market, DAX still looks like, well, really bad. It got rejected here at the 50 and the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. If I wrote it up, then it would be around this area here. Uh, we had pulled back and have a rally at the end of uh, the week, which usually is normal. Usually uh, the industry and stocks, they rally at the end, but this is a bismal rally, to be fairly honest. I think if we rally all the way up towards the 50 moving average, we'll get rejected again, and then we'll have a basically tumble. I don't really see anything positive in this market or anything positive in the European economy at this current stage. So the next few years they are going to be tough as europe euros economies are going to transition away from um uh, their uh, dependent on uh, russian oil and gas and so on so it's going to be tough for european economy in general and and uh, focusing on the on the german economy it's heavily uh, dependent on uh, Russian oil and gas so it's going to take a hit one way or another it's not going to be as uh, as smooth as it has been for uh, the last um, basically uh, nearly 20 years but if we look at this most likely if we rally above the 50 moving average then the 200 moving average comes into play and then to the upside that's a massive ask more likely here is that we will retest the very bottom and if we break below then we are looking at a massive drop to pour, probably down to 11 to 20 uh, or 10,000 okay or we basically bounce and then continue higher uh, but long-term perspective for European economy is not looking very good stochastic uh, back D is bearish at this point stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish so we may see a tiny rally up towards the 50 before dropping to the downside so if you look at the wix it has been all over the place this week it uh, has been dropping all the way from uh, 36.5 k all the way uh, of 46.5 uh, and then all the way down to 20.8 it rallied the last uh, for most of this week and then gave all of those gains back all the way down to the 200 moving average but 200 moving average is basically where we have found the massive support several times. We have seen this break below the 200 and then rally. And um, if we basically bounce yet again from uh, in the beginning of next week on Monday, uh, then we may see this go all the way back up towards 30, 35. If you look at technical English, they are basically showing that this is about to bounce. We can see the MACD is crossing the signal line, indicating bullish momentum. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is flat at this point. But if you look at the US 10 year, this continues to rally. We're at 2.7 at this point, and we're almost at the same level as we were back in 2019, where we were all the way up at 3.2. So US 10 year just broke out of this um, of this flag, which basically measures 0 0.9. And that means that we will reach roughly 3.2 if this measurement uh, holds. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that uh, the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, RSI is also bullish, but we're significantly overbought at this point. So. A pullback towards the top of this range of 2.5 give or take that is highly expected at this point so we may see indices stocks rally at the beginning of next week if this falls uh, but uh, this is significantly overbought and the, the bond market is basically 
yelling that interest rates are going to increase while the stock market is just trying to um, not pay attention and don't technically believe that a Fed is going to do what the Fed is uh, basically has to do. Because if they don't do um, change the monetary policy, inflation is going to get worse and therefore they have to uh, to basically change their monetary policy to be much more aggressive. So hope you find it helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and good weekend.